Let's talk about decluttering our mobile phone's home screen. Dude, I finally found a good solution to this. Actually, based off of one of your recommendations, Tell me. Uh, you were talking about how the Kindle app is, you, you have that out on your main screen. Mm-hmm. And what, what that made me ask myself is when I go to my phone, what do I wish I went to? Every single time. What a great question. Yeah. So the it's the Kindle and it's the um, audio. I'm going to write this down, by the way. <laughs> it's the Kindle app and the uh, Audible app, which, by the way, all the minimalist books can be found on audible.com. All right. So <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I did, man. I took, and then you know the four, so I got an iPhone and the four little folders on the bottom. Right. So they, they were not folders. They are the main apps. Well, what I did is I moved every single, I created four folders and moved them to the bottom. I've yeah. got... I've got uh, utilities, I've got um, travel, I have entertainment, and I have uh, social. Not social media, but social. And social is like um, Skype, uh, uh, um, what, what is the Apple service? Communication is really what you're saying. Yeah, right? really, yeah. FaceTime. FaceTime, yeah. Um, uh, text messages, things like that. There's only one, you can't swipe on that folder. Like There's only one page right there. Mm-hmm. Um, the other ones have a few different pages to swipe on. But if I'm looking for an app and I can't find it, like there's there's something wrong with that app, like me having that app. Either I'm not using it enough, and I do that sometimes. Like in the travel folder, for example, I'll download, I don't know, Aer Lingus app because I'm in Europe and I'm flying Aer Lingus. Well, there's not Aer Lingus in the United States, so yeah, I've got to like download that when I when, when I'm on vacation, and then I'll I'll delete it when I when I come back to the states. But it's crazy though, like you know, Mariah will have my phone and she's like, oh, you know, can I you know, she's asking to look at my phone to to uh, get to something, whether it's, you know, our plane tickets or whether I'm asking her to write something down in the notebook. I know exactly where everything is in that phone. Yeah. Like I could say, oh, that is, oh, that's a utility. You need to go to the utility folders, third page in the center. Like I know exactly where it's at. So um, for me, like that is what has worked best. And I love it, man, because with my phone, when I, you know, if I get a notification, the only thing I see is like uh, the actually I don't even oh yeah I guess I do get the little window notification but all I see are those two apps Kindle and Audible and that's it and it feels so good and which then, app do I wish I would have went to that I, I um I did something similar with with the Kindle app where when I got Instagram off my phone because that was like the thing I would find myself just uh, unconsciously scrolling to like I, I was like a habit like I knew where it was. Well, I replaced where it was with the Kindle app. And then so mm. I found myself like unconsciously reading a book all of a sudden. And that's so much better. I also use a great app called Instapaper. I don't know if you ever use that. No. But anytime that I, uh, and I pay for it, uh, so I have to make sure I have like an ad-free version. I always pay for things whenever I can get the ad-free version, whether it's YouTube, Patreon. Mm. Um, but uh, what, I'll, what I'll do with Instapaper is like say someone's, sends me a New York Times article. You're like, hey, Josh, you really need to read this thing about you know the top 10 podcasts or whatever it is. Or here's a really great article about David Foster Wallace. Uh, I will just hit on my web browser, I hit Instapaper, and it puts it on my Instapaper app on my phone so that when I have a free moment, I, instead of trying to search social media or something, I can just read the articles that I've been meaning to catch up on. Oh my God, dude. I used to have... I don't do this anymore because... I just made the rule that if I don't read it right away, I'm just probably not going to read it. That's a very good rule too. I, I so I, in my Insta paper, I go in once a week and delete anything I haven't read. But there are some things where, like a week later, I'm like, oh, I gotta, I will look up someone's text or email, and that's how I know I really wanna, I really wanna read it. But I, I, I love this Insta paper idea. But dude, I can't tell you <laughs> how many times I would just have like 20 tabs open, <laughs> and then like that would stress me out. So then I would just like create a new window to like do whatever work I wanted to do. Oh. And then forget about those 20 tabs and then have like another 10 tabs open. It's like its own clutter. Oh my God, dude. Or uh, you remember the dude who was at our event and he was like, I need some advice on all these bookmarks I have. He's like, I got got over like 500 bookmarks. I do remember this, yeah. On things that I'll read one day. And, uh, you know, how do you suggest I get through reading these? And I'm like, honestly, man, get rid of them all. Delete like, them all. Delete right them all. And he deleted them right there. And he did. And he told me how relieved he felt. And it's it's crazy though. I did ask him like, hey, look, if you went to your phone right now and imagine that somehow they accidentally got deleted, like how would you feel? Remember when you deleted my whole memo notepad? Yeah. <laughs> Not on purpose. No, it wasn't on purpose. It was on accident trying to trying to get my new phone working. Um, 
I mean, there were a couple small, like there were some jokes on there I wish I would have had. And so you get for coming to me for tech support. That's <laughs> a couple essays. But ultimately, though, it wasn't it wasn't as bad as what I anticipated. No, I'm the same way. I lost 200 essays recently. Oh my god. I don't like they're fragments of different essays because I went to them to like because I've been writing this book. Yeah. Uh, and I'm like, I'll just go to my essay fragment, see if I got some good ideas here. And they were gone. There was oh, wow. two of them left. I don't know what happened to them. Oh, my goodness. Like, literally, just 200 essays. I got revenge. <laughs> <laughs> I screwed both of us. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, here, here's I'll, I'll say two things to finish out the, the, fo- the home screen. I have no icons like you on my home screen. Mm. And I do have those folders at the bottom. And I remove anything that is distracting. I will constantly ask myself, it, what am I being distracted by? Now, thankfully, you can also track your, your productivity time and the, app, the time you're spending on different apps. Mm-hmm. And if you're spending too much time, then you can remove that app for a period of time and then bring it back in if you really feel like it's going to add value. Here are some apps I do get immense value from. Uh, Brain FM is one. Yeah. Uh, if, I am, if I'm really trying to work and concentrate, they have a, I think it's seven bucks a month, so it's not cheap. But I use it all the time. If I'm trying to write a book, like they have a concentration feature, so I just have my earbuds in, and it's like concentration music. Mm-hmm. If I want to take a nap, they have nap music. If I want to just relax, they have relaxed music. If I want to sleep, they have deep sleep music. And so it's it's really helpful. I use it all the time. I use a podcast app called Overcast, although I'm finding that podcasts for me are too addictive, mm. and I'm, I'm getting immense value from a handful of them. And so what I'm going to do, not only am I going to do this again, I did it last year, it's time to do it again. I'm going to unsubscribe from all the podcasts that mm. I subscribe to. Mm-hmm. I'm going to resubscribe to only the ones I miss, but I'm also going to set up some parameters about when I can listen to podcasts. And it's going to be when I'm exercising, uh, when I'm walking to work, not when I'm just walking, because uh, I walk a lot, and that's when I do a lot of my best thinking for writing. And so I don't want to just be listening to podcasts all the time. But if I'm walking directly to work, I give my instead of driving to work, I give myself permission. Or if I'm driving somewhere, I'll give myself permission to listen to podcasts. But I rarely drive anymore. So there will be certain times I can listen to podcasts. Other times I'm just going to have to sit alone with, with my own thoughts, as crazy as that might be. Mm. Uh, other apps that I get value from, uh, we already talked about the Kindle app, we talked about Audible, we talked about Instapaper, those are the big ones for me, but um, the other one is FaceTime. You know, I'm not always with Bex or Ella, and so I get immense value from being able to interact with them on, on FaceTime. If you want a really good wallpaper for your phone, a nice reminder once you've gotten all the apps off the home screen, head on over to theminimalists.com slash lovepeople. We have a Love People Use Things wallpaper over there that you can download for free.